here is the Swift Frontiki 884. On it, that one's for your toilet. Out storage drawer underneath. Twin cameras on the back, bike rack mount and tow bar. Parking sensors. Another pull out drive on this side. More access into the garage. Water. Shower outlet even, gas bottles, electric, and there's also an aerial there for bollards when you need to plug into the aerials. Water and your 12 volt. So let's go inside the new 884. So we've got the brand new cab. Plenty of storage in the door pockets. Cool box or warm box, whichever you've got the heating on. Standard glove box. Remote control for the mirror. So on this one the blind comes up from the bottom. One of the downsides is you have to actually tuck the mirror out of the way. Otherwise the blind catches on it. The seats are lovely and comfy, they're so soft. Vegan leather, armrests on both sides. 
window blinds on this one. They come up this time and then lock into position. Again, swiveling packed in chairs. There is a little step there that keeps catching me out. I've fallen down it a couple of times already. My standard plugs and your little lights. Storage. Nice big sunroof with blind. More storage on that side. Again, and a plug and a light. So moving back. The lights, and they've also got USB in them. Again, plenty of storage. Soft clothes. Can't get to this one because of the table. Blind, you your fly screen and your normal blind. You've got your travel seats underneath, your bench seats. Extension to the kitchen. So your table moves around, utilising that handle there. You can't do it one handed, but it moves and it obviously folds out to be a bigger table. Again, more cupboards. I love that soft close. Swift Command in your Aldi. TV mounts up here. I'm not entirely sure what size TV is going on there yet because it's going to stick out. Might cause an issue. All your plugs, USB sockets, aerial sockets. There's your light switches. Handy little storage in there. As usual, the bin on the door with an umbrella storage and blinds. A bit more storage under there. And we move back to the kitchen. That's your switch for the table. And you've got your plug and light switches down that side. Splash back. Again, you've got the double blinds in the kitchen. Maybe plate rack and a shelf. I've seen a lot of these without shelves, so that's handy. Above the microwave, another cupboard. Microwave. Moving down, you've got your Thetford grill and oven. Got one hot plate, three gas burners. Sorry if it's a bit noisy, I've got the aircon on above me. Nice big drawer under there. Without racking. Probably would have preferred shelves in that one, but hey ho. Your drainer. Plenty more storage. So this side. Now when we originally looked at the Contiki, bearing in mind we bought this in October 21, that was a coat racket, a uh, coat cupboard. And again I would have preferred that the cupboard with a hanging rail and some shelves, that would have been much better. Um, but fortunately they've changed it so 
massive cupboard up there. That's where you turn your aerial on and off, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to reach that. I think I'll be investing in a step. A fancy two-way fridge and freezer. To the bathroom. We've opted for the aircon unit above the kitchen, which is why it's a little bit noisy because I've got it running. So into the bathroom. I don't know why they've put the toilet on two steps. It's going to be interesting. Plenty of storage. The light switches are tucked around there. Bizarre place. But again, you're not sure on the storage. We've got some doors you can move across. You see if you've got four in, there's, they're clipped in on the other side. Pull that one too. Unhook that. And then you can open your shower door. You need two hands though. Move that. Oh, push. A lovely small roof light and a hanging rail. A small storage area with a light. Decent, decent sized shower area. Only one plug hole though. I thought they would have put two in. And just pull that too, and then when you're travelling, just put the pin back in. You don't need two hands to do that fan at the top. So moving back into the bedroom. Steps up to your bed under these steps. It's more storage. Got drawers on both sides. Two drawers. Wardrobe under there with a hanging rail. Wardrobe that side, no hanging rail, and your boilers underneath. Wardrobe on this side, with your Aldi in, again no hanging rail. But you have got shelves. And on the other side, another wardrobe in case you're a bit short. This one has got a hanging rail. shelf at the bottom. Bed area. Massive area. Windows on both sides. Again, with the double blinds. Mirror at the bottom. Doubles into a cupboard. Plugs on that side. Your 12 volt, 12 volt USB connections, your light switch, and your plug. That pops down for more storage. TV point over this side. Again, it's going to take some thinking about about what size TV you want in there. It's not a very big gap. And the light switch. So there we go. That is the Contiki 884.